It is a nonprofit, 501c3. Uh, it was developed into a nonprofit in 2002. But in 2009, uh, we had a unique opportunity in that the, the hospital, the local hospital, the school district, and the city of Sunnyside joined together to form an ad hoc committee, so to speak, and approached Sunnyside's Promise to uh, look at developing strategies to address the gang and alcohol uh, and drug activity in this community. There's a, a high dropout rate in this community, and what we're what we're trying to do is find ways to uh, address that as soon as it happens. Get that child engaged in services, um, making sure that there's an educational component. The schools do a very good job. What we're trying to do is find where the gaps are, um, and we're finding a lot of it is the cultural disparity. is we have uh, the teachers and counselors refer kids that have been identified so they're wearing colors, they're signing uh, graffiti, things that the, the teachers have noticed that that child is exhibiting behaviors that needs to have uh, uh, attention paid more than just the, the school counselor. So we receive referrals for those children. We currently have 91 kids that we have on our caseload that have uh, been receiving services this year. We've had very, very good successes. I've seen a lot of the students I work with um, able to talk to someone that's an adult, but not necessarily seen as someone in an authoritative position. I'm not a counselor or a teacher or administrator. I am someone, I'm someone coming in from the outside that, they, that students can be able to talk to and express what the problems are and what kind of help they need. It gets um, most kids out of the streets, but some still maintain there. And it helps families out and it helps some kids so they won't like have to go through the wrong path.